Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur, also known as IIT Kanpur or IITK, is a public engineering institution located in Kanpur, Uttar Pradesh. It was declared to be an institute of national importance by the Government of India under the Institutes of Technology Act. Established in 1960 as one of the first Indian Institutes of Technology, the institute was created with the assistance of a consortium of nine U.S. research universities as part of the Kanpur Indo-American Program History IIT Kanpur was established by an Act of Parliament in 1959. The institute was started in December 1959 in a room in the canteen building of the Harcourt Butler Technological Institute at Agricultural Gardens in Kanpur. In 1963, the institute moved to its present location, on the Grand Trunk Road near the locality of Kalyanpur in Kanpur district. During the first ten years of its existence, a consortium of nine U.S. universities namely MIT, University of California, Berkeley California Institute of Technology, Princeton University, Carnegie Institute of Technology, University of Michigan, Ohio State University, Case Institute of Technology and Purdue University helped set up IIT Kanpur's research laboratories and academic programs under the Kanpur Indo-American Program The first director of the institute was P. K. Kelkar after whom the Central Library was renamed in 2002. Under the guidance of economist John Kenneth Galbraith, IIT Kanpur was the first institute in India to offer computer science education. The earliest computer courses were started at IIT Kanpur in August 1963 on an IBM 1620 system. The initiative for computer education came from the Electrical Engineering Department, then under the chairmanship of Professor H. K. Kesavan, who was concurrently the chairman of Electrical Engineering and head of the Computer Center. Professor Harry Husky of the University of California, Berkeley, who preceded Kesavan, helped with the computer activity at IIT Kanpur. In 1971, the institute began an independent academic program in computer science and engineering, leading to M.Tech. and Ph.D. degrees. In 1972 the KIAP program ended, in part because of tensions due to the U.S. support of Pakistan. Government funding was also reduced as a reaction to the sentiment that the IITs were contributing to the brain drain. Topic: <laughs> Campus. IIT Kanpur is located on the Grand Trunk Road, 15 kilometers (9.3 miles) west of Kanpur city and measures close to 420 hectares (1000 acres). This land was donated by the government of Uttar Pradesh in 1960 and by March 1963 the institute had moved to its current location. The institute has around 6,478 students with 3,938 undergraduate students and 2,540 postgraduate students and about 500 research associates. <laughs> Noida Extension Center IIT Kanpur is to open an extension center in Noida with the plan of making a small convention center there for supporting outreach activities. 
Its foundation was laid on 4 December 2012 on five acres of land allocated by Uttar Pradesh state government in the sector 62 of Noida city, which is less than an hour's journey from New Delhi and the Indira Gandhi International Airport. The cost of construction is estimated to be about 25 crores. The new campus will have an auditorium, seminar halls for organizing national and international conferences and an international relations office along with a seven-story guest house. Several short-term management courses and refresher courses meant for distance learning will be available at the Extension Center, news from IITK. Retrieved on 9 October 2013. Topic: Helicopter service. Being a major industrial town, Kanpur has a good connectivity by rail and by road, but it lags in terms of air connectivity. IIT Kanpur was suffering significantly in comparison to IIT Delhi and IIT Bombay due to this reason. As far as visiting companies and other dignitaries are concerned. On 1 June 2013, a helicopter ferry service was started at IIT Kanpur run by Pawan Hans Helicopters Limited. In its initial run the service connects IIT Kanpur to Lucknow, but it is planned to later extend it to New Delhi. Currently there are two flights daily to and from Lucknow Airport with a duration of 25 minutes. Lucknow Airport operates both international and domestic flights to major cities. IIT Kanpur is the first academic institution in the country to provide such a service. The estimated charges are Rs. 6,000 per person. If anyone would like to avail the facility he, she have to contact Student Placement Office SPO at IIT Kanpur, since the helicopter service is subject to availability of chopper rights. The campus also has airstrips which allows flight workshops and joyrides for students. New York office. The institute has set up an office in New York with alumnus, Sanjeev Kosla designated as the overseas brand ambassador of the institute. It is located on 62 William Street, Manhattan. The office aims to hunt for qualified and capable faculty abroad, facilitate internship opportunities in North American universities and be conduit for research tie-ups with various U.S. universities. The New York office also tries to amass funds through the alumni based there. A system that invites students and faculty of foreign institutes to IIT Kanpur is also being formulated. Admissions Undergraduate admissions until 2012 were being done through the National Level Indian Institute of Technology Joint Entrance Examination Following the Ministry of Human Resource Development's decision to replace IITG with a common engineering entrance examination, IIT Kanpur's admissions are now based on G Joint Entrance Examination advanced level along with other IITs. Postgraduate admissions are made through the Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering and Common Aptitude Test. Topic: Student life. Topic: National events. 
Antaragni, Antaragni is a non-profit organization run by the students of IIT Kanpur. It was funded entirely by the student Gymkhana of the university it began. Today the budget is almost 1 crore rupees, raised through sponsorship. It began as an intercollegiate cultural event in 1964, and now draws in over 30,000 visitors from 300 colleges in India annual Kulfest, cultural festival, held over four days in October. The festival includes music, drama, literary games and quizzing. There is a YouTube channel dedicated to the festival with 1,000 plus subscribers. Tekriti, it was started in 1995 with an aim to encourage interest and innovation in technology among students and to provide a platform for industry and academia to interact. Megabucks, a business and entrepreneurship festival, used to be held independently but was merged with Tekriti in 2010. Notable speakers at Tekriti have included APJ Abdul Kalam, Vladimir Vovodsky, Douglas Asharoff, Oliver Smithies, Rakesh Sharma, David Griffiths and Richard Stallman. Yudgosh, Yudgosh is an annual inter-college sports meet held in September. UDGHOSH involves students from all over India competing in the university's sports facilities. The festival includes motivational talks, mini-marathon, gymnastic shows and sport quizzes to various sports events like Vivekananda Youth Leadership Convention, Vivekananda Samiti, under students Jamkana, on behalf of the IIT Kanpur, has undertaken the celebration of 150th birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda from 2011 to 2015. The convention has included Kiran Bedi, Bana Singh, Yogendra Singh Yadav, Raju Narayana Swami, Arunima Sinha, Rajendra Singh and other personalities from different fields in previous years. E-Summit, it started in 2013. The first E-Summit was scheduled for 16-18 August, 2013. These three-day festival by Entrepreneurship Cell, IIT Kanpur on the theme Emerge on the Radar included talks by eminent personalities, workshops and competitions. Students <laughs> Gymkhana <laughs> 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 The Students Gymkhana is the Students' Government Organization of IIT Kanpur, established in 1962. The Students Gymkhana functions mainly through the Student Senate, an elected student representative body composed of senators elected from each batch and the five elected executives. President, Students Gymkhana. General Secretary Cultural Council. General Secretary Films and Media Council General Secretary Games and Sports Council General Secretary Science and Technology Council The number of senators in the student senate is around 50 to 55 A senator is elected for every 100 students of IIT Kanpur the meetings of the Student Senate are chaired by the convener, Student Senate, who is elected by the Senate. The Senate lays down the guidelines for the functions of the executives, their associated councils, the Gymkhana festivals and other matters pertaining to the student body at large. The Student Senate has a say in the policy and decision-making bodies of the Institute. The President, Students Gymkhana and the Convener, Students Senate are special invitees to the Institute Academic Senate. The President is usually invited to the meetings of the Board of Governors when matters affecting students are being discussed. 
Nominees of the Student Senate are also members of the various standing committees of the Institute Senate including the Disciplinary Committee, the Undergraduate and Postgraduate Committee, the Scholarship Committee etc. All academic departments have departmental undergraduate and postgraduate committees consisting of members of the faculty and nominees of the students' gymkhana. Topic rankings Internationally, IIT Kanpur was ranked 283 in QS World University Rankings for 2019. It was ranked 59 in QS Asia Rankings 2018 and 21 among BRICS nations. The Times Higher Education World University Rankings ranked it 501 to 600 globally in the 2018 ranking, 81 in Asia and 32 among BRICS and Emerging Economies University Rankings 2017. In India, among engineering colleges, it ranked third by India Today in 2017, fourth in India by Outlook India, and fifth by The Week. It was ranked fifth among engineering colleges in India by the National Institutional Ranking Framework in 2018, and seventh overall. The Department of Industrial and Management Engineering was ranked 17 among management schools in India by NIRF in 2018. Academic bodies and activities IIT Kanpur offers various courses on management and social sciences. Undergraduate <inaudible> 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 IIT Kanpur offers four-year B.Tech programs in aerospace engineering, biological sciences and bioengineering, chemical engineering, civil engineering, computer science and engineering, electrical engineering, materials science and engineering and mechanical engineering. The admission to these programs is procured through joint entrance examination. IITK offers admission only to bachelor's degree now discontinuing the integrated course programs, but it can be extended by one year to make it integrated, depending on the choice of student and based on his, her performance there at undergraduate level. IIT Kanpur also offers four-year B.S. Programs in Pure and Applied Sciences Mathematics, Physics and Chemistry in particular, Earth Science and Economics. <laughs> New academic system From 2011, IIT Kanpur has started offering a four-year BS program in sciences and has kept its B.Tech program intact. Entry to the five-year M.Tech, MBA programs and dual degree program will be done based on the CPI of students instead of G-Rank. In order to reduce the number of student exams, IIT Kanpur has also abolished the earlier system of conducting two mid-term examinations. Instead, only two examinations plus two quizzes in most courses depending on the instructor in charge, one before mid-semesters and the other after the mid-semesters and before the end semesters examination, one between the semester and other towards the end of it would be held from the academic session starting July 2011 onward as per Academic Review Committee's recommendations. Topic: Postgraduate. Postgraduate courses in engineering offer Master of Technology (M. Tech, M.S.R.) and Ph.D. degrees. 
The institute also offers two-tier MSc, courses in areas of basic sciences in which students are admitted through joint admission test for MSc, JAM exam. The institute also offers M-Day, two years, MBA, two years, and MSc, two years, degrees. Admissions to M Tech is made once a year through graduate aptitude test in engineering. Admissions to M Day are made once a year through both graduate aptitude test in engineering gate and common entrance exam for design CEED. Until 2011, admissions to the MBA program were accomplished through the Joint Management Entrance Test JMET, held yearly, and followed by a group discussion, personal interview process. In 2011, JMET was replaced by Common Admission Test CAT. Departments. The academic departments at IIT Kanpur are Topic Laboratories and other facilities The campus is spread over an area of 4.3 square kilometers 1100 acres Facilities include the National Wind Tunnel facility other large research centers include the Advanced Center for Material Science, a biotechnology center, the Advanced Center for Electronic Systems, and the Samtel Center for Display Technology, Center for Mechatronics, Center for Laser Technology, Prabhu Goal Research Center for Computer and Internet Security, Facility for Ecological and Analytical Testing. The departments have their own libraries. The institute has its own airfield, for flight testing and gliding. P. K. Kelkar Library, formerly Central Library is an academic library of the institute with a collection of more than 300,000 volumes, and subscriptions to more than 1,000 periodicals. The library was renamed to its present name in 2003 after Dr. P. K. Kelkar, the first director of the institute. It is housed in a three-story building, with a total floor area of 6,973 square meters. The abstracting and indexing periodicals, microform and CD-ROM databases, technical reports, standards and thesis are in the library. Each year, about 4,500 books and journal volumes are added to the library. The new Core Labs NCL is three-story building with state-of-the-art physics and chemistry laboratories for courses in the first year. The new Core Labs also has Linux and Windows computer labs for the use of first-year courses and a mathematics department laboratory housing machines with high computing power. IIT Kanpur has set up the SIDBI Innovation and Incubation Center in collaboration with the Small Industries Development Bank of India aiming to aid innovation, research, and entrepreneurial activities in technology-based areas. SIIC helps business start-ups to develop their ideas into commercially viable products. A team of students, working under the guidance of faculty members of the Institute and scientists of Indian Space Research Organization have designed and built India's first nano-satellite Jugnu, which was successfully launched in orbit on 12 October 2011 by ISRO's PSLV C-18. Computer Center The Computer Center is one of the advanced computing service center among academic institution in India. 
IT hosts IIT Kanpur website and provides personal web space for students and faculties. It also provides a spam filtered email server and high speed fiber optic internet to all the hostels and the academics. Users have multiple options to choose among various interfaces to access mail service. It has Linux and Windows laboratories equipped with dozens of high-end software like MATLAB, AutoCAD, ANSYS, Abacus etc. for use of students. Apart from departmental computer labs, Computer Center hosts more than 300 Linux terminals and more than 100 Windows terminals and is continuously available to the students for academic work and recreation. Computer Center has recently adopted an open source software policy for its infrastructure and computing. Various high-end compute and GPU servers are remotely available from Data Center for user computation. Computer Center has multiple supercomputing clusters for research and teaching activity. In June 2014 IIT Kanpur launched their second supercomputer which is India's fifth most powerful supercomputer as of now. The new supercomputer, Cluster Platform SL230's Gen 8 manufactured by Hewlett-Packard has 15,360 cores and a theoretical peak 307.2 teflop, S and is the world's 192 th most powerful supercomputer as of June 2015. Topic students research related activity research is controlled by the office of the dean of research and development under the aegis of the office the students publish the quarterly nerd magazine notes on engineering research and development which publishes scientific and technical content created by students Articles may be original work done by students in the form of hobby projects, term projects, internships, or theses. Articles of general interest which are informative but do not reflect original work are also accepted. The institute is part of the European Research and Education Collaboration with Asia program since 2008, along with the magazine A Student Research Organization, POWER promotion of work experience and research has been started. Under it several independent student groups are working on projects like the Lunar Rover for ISRO, alternate energy solutions under the Group for Environment and Energy Engineering, ICT solutions through a group Young Engineers, Solution for Diabetes, Green Community Solutions through ideas like Zero Water and Zero Waste Quality Air Approach. Through Brain Biological Research and Innovation Network students interested in solving biological problems get involved in research projects like genetically modifying fruit flies to study molecular systems and developing biosensors to detect alcohol levels. A budget of 1 rupee and 50 paise to 2 crore has been envisaged to support student projects that demonstrate technology. Jugnuth students of IIT Kanpur made a nano satellite called Jugnu, which was given by President Pratibha Patil to ISRO for launch. Jugnu is a remote sensing satellite which will be operated by the Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur. It is a nano satellite which will be used to provide data for agriculture and disaster monitoring. It is a 3 kg spacecraft, which measures 34 cm 13 in, in length by 10 cm 3 .9 in, in height and width. Its development program cost around 25 million rupees. It has a design life of one year. Jugnu's primary instrument is the micro-imaging system, a near-infrared camera which will be used to observe vegetation. 
It also carries a GPS receiver to aid tracking, and is intended to demonstrate a microelectromechanical inertial measurement unit. IITK Motorsportsic Motorsports is the biggest and most comprehensive student initiative of the college, founded in January 2011. It is a group of students from varied disciplines who aim at designing and fabricating a formula-style race car for International Formula Say Society of Automotive Engineers events. Most of the components of the car, except the engine, tires and wheel rims, are designed and manufactured by the team members themselves. The car is designed to provide maximum performance under the constraints of the event, while ensuring the drivability, reliability, driver safety and aesthetics of the car are not compromised. Maral UAVS researchers at IIT Kanpur have developed a series of solar-powered UAVs named MARAAL-1 and MARAAL-2. Development of Maral is notable as it is the first solar-powered UAV developed in India. MARAAL-2 is fully indigenous. Topic: Notable alumni. V. K. Matthews, founder, chairman, IBS Software Services. Suresh Venkata Subramanianis, an Indian computer scientist and professor at the University of Utah, known for his contributions in computational geometry and differential privacy. Topic. See also Indian Institutes of Technology National Institutes of Technology Institutes of National Importance <laughs>